Today I'll be reviewing the Lego City Diving Yacht. I'm going to start out with the actual boat itself. Um, it uses, with the hull piece it uses, it should be able to actually float in a, like a bathtub or something. Though I haven't tried it yet. Um, it has some stickers here. It says... The Luxe, I think is how you pronounce that, which I assume is the name of the boat. And the, the lines line up nicely with some, some more stickers on the back here. And in the front, they have there's a light and a, um, a place, I, I think it's a cushioned place where you can like sit. The only thing is I'm not sure how you get around since from the back and from here like, back and forth between. Um, I th one possibility is that it's Lego logic, because there are some Lego sets that have multiple floors, like, buildings with multiple floors that don't have stairs. Maybe this is something like that. Or maybe it's some... Or you can also take off this... Um, the top part with the windscreen. So maybe you could get over it here like that, like it's convertible. But this, this antenna, these antenna pieces and the boomerang, especially, I think, um, are a few instruments. So the, you might, those might be useful. And it has some lights on the side there. Number 36. Comes with two minifigures. Here's one of them. Um, he has this lime green camera. I think the camera piece in lime is new. And they're both wearing wetsuits. This guy's wearing a green one, a black and green one. And she has a black and blue one. And she has what I think is a filming camera. Large filming camera. And with her hairpiece, um, it's actually dual molded, I think, with the hat and the hair. Dual molded means it has two plastics molded into, um, two different colored plastics molded into one piece. And then they have a watermelon and some dive gear, which I'll, I'll show you what they look like in those later. Um, over here, at first I thought this was a water bottle. But with that can top, I'm not really sure. Maybe it's a specimen container or something. I'm not really sure. Here's where they dr actually drive the ship. There's a steering wheel and some gauges. And yeah, there's some padding back here. and some. I think this is more padding. And right there, there's a sticker with some sonar and that sawfish that I'll be showing you later. This is where they climb in and out of the boat, I think. Now, um, I'll put the, this on them. So, okay, um, I'm just gonna put their cameras there. Just leave that off for now. Um. Okay, I got most of the dive gear on them. Um, the only thing that I don't really like is that with both of their hair pieces with these air tanks on them they don't really fit it's not that big of a problem you just have to take the whole head off to put it on like I would have liked it if you could just leave that on and then still have the hair piece but um, this is how they look in all their dive gear They have snorkels and the air tanks that they breathe from underwater and some black fin pieces.
And now to show you some of the other stuff which I put off to the side. This is a um, diving flag. It's like something they put in the water to show that um, people are diving in this spot. It just floats like that. Oops. Um, and it comes with a crab, a kind of gold yellow crab. I used to call this color in Lego lion yellow because a lot of the lo lo Lego Chimus lion sets had this color, but I realized that the color was around before that theme came out, so I decided to just call it golden yellow from now on. Yeah, it's a crab piece. We got a sticks down there and a stud down there, and you it has a bar connection here, so you can hold it like that. Use it as a weapon or something, maybe. And then this is the main underwater build. Um, it has a saw shark. I'll, I'll, I'll be showing you that, but first I want to show you this. There's a... Um, no, did I say saw shark? I meant sawfish. And anyway, there's a little fish here. Some sea seaweed growing. Some maybe seagrass or, and a rock. Sea plants. And there's a, even a chest here with a, like a red ruby or spinel or something in there. I don't know, some kind of gem. Several different red gems. So the sawfish is the first time I've gotten one of these in a set. Um, the main thing you can tell, the main reason you can tell it's a sawfish is because of this um, kind of saw-like protrusion nose thing, I guess. One thing I want to... Oh yeah, the mouth can open and close. But one thing I saw, thought was interesting about this that I didn't really expect is... Um, I like to compare it to this other Lego shark that... a uh, standard Lego shark that I have from a Lego City Coast Guard set that came out a few years ago or several years ago, I'm not really sure. But I obviously expected the head pieces, like the upper jaw pieces, to be different because this is a sawfish and this is a shark. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus in a bit better. There we go. Um, but, um, and I didn't know that they got rid of the dot things and they're now printing eyes on this. But what I didn't expect was this main body piece is also a slightly different mold. It's updated. Um... The tail, as you can see, is a little bit different. It now has gills where there weren't before. It's a little different shaping on the body, too, it looks like. Um, maybe the fins look to be a slightly different shape. And, of course, on the bottom is really different. They both have two spots where you can put in a pull connection. That's right here and right here. But the stud connection is really different. This one has just two places right here where you can stick it on something. Whereas this new piece, it has anti-studs all over it. So you can actually lay it down on a plate and it will stick there without having a weird um, one by two brick showing up. So I thought that was interesting and cool. Yeah, sawfish. Um... I think that's all for now, and thanks for watching.